please subscribe. Mercedes AMG GLC 63 is getting ready to become the sportiest GLC ever. New spy pictures shows the new model testing before launch. We have already become acquainted with a relatively mild AMG variant, the GLC 43 4MATIC with 367 horsepower and 520 newton meters 3.0 liter by turbo V6 under the hood. Next year also appears Mercedes AMG GLC 63 into showrooms. Mercedes AMG C63 SGLK successor comes with a 367 horsepower strong 3 liter V6 therefore. But the actual flagship of the SUV series will be a Mercedes AMG GLC 63 V8 engine received. Thus, in the model the motor general purpose weapon of the Affle to Baker will be used, the 4.0 liter by turbo. The GLC 63 is celebrating World Championships in New York in 2017. But even if the whole world is allowed to watch, the whole world will not be able to enjoy the V8 GLC, because it should be reserved for the US market only. AMG GLC 63 course will of course sit above the GLC 43 in the pecking order. The blown V6 from the AMG 43 is replaced by the 4,0-litre V8 pipe turbo lifted straight from its C63 AMG smaller brother. The SUV however will get only the 476 horsepower entry-level version, if we can call it that away given its onboard arsenal, and not the 510 horsepower range topper 2. This is because Mercedes thinks 476 is more than enough to beat the 400 horsepower Porsche Macan, while neither BMW nor Audi currently offer anything even remotely close in terms of power. In the design department, the Mercedes AMG GLC 63 will sport the now familiar wide gaping front air intake, aprons, black alloys, and the mesh grille from the C63. The interior is carried over largely unchanged from the GLC, meaning an appealing mix of glossy surfaces, a free-flowing center console and a tablet style 7 or 8,4 inch infotainment screen. The GLC 63 has no real competitors. BMW X3 M we know so far failed to appear and a version above the Audi SQ5 is still absent. The Jaguar Ref Pace is not, yet, available as a SVR. The unveiling of the new Mercedes-Benz GLC 63 AMG is expected to take early next year, likely at the Detroit Motor Show. Please subscribe.